this is going. I'll do my intro in a sec, just reading up on the, uh, the game's intro here. Loving the chiptune soundtrack so far. Tale. So, well, I am Johnny B, aka Retronathan. That's uh, Retronathan and not Retro Nathan, uh, as, as some uh, confuse it with. Um, press the button here. So, yeah, Retronathan is about playing. Uh, let me turn this down so I can speak. So Retronathan, my stream is about nostalgia in a nutshell. It's about playing those old school uh, 8 or 16-bit type of games, uh, whether they're bona fide classics or uh, you know uh, games that evoke that style. Uh, this is one of those games, uh, Undertale. It's uh, an indie developed game that, and I'm blanking on the publisher right now or the um, the studio that uh, did this, but apparently it was super popular, and my, my kids have been uh, really pushing me to play this one for a while, and um, so, I mean, you know, if, if, if they love it, uh, you know, I want to see what this is about, and, um, you know, then we can, it could be something that we could share and, and talk about. I, I've been really pushing them not to give me any spoilers, although for a while they were really, you know, chomping at the bit to tell me a lot of uh, things about the game. I know nothing about it. I'm going in um, pretty uh, blind. Uh, I do know that apparently this is a type of game where you can make certain choices that you know catch up to you down the way. Um, so depending on how you play, I guess I think there can be multiple endings, uh, which I love. Um, and uh, so I, you know, I, I hear there's a sense of humor, and it's just kind of a send up of um, RPGs. Uh, but that's just kind of the cursory information that I have about this. Um, but I figured I looked at the, you know, the style and seemed to be something uh, worthy of a Retronathan stream. So here we go. Name the fallen human. Sleeping. That's an RPG trope, right? Starting with the uh, the child protagonist asleep, awakening to a new day.
Okay. That escalated quickly. What's up, Whistleton? This game is wacky right out the gate. Oh yeah, no, it's it, it definitely seems to have like this um, uh, not perverse, uh, obtuse, I guess, for lack of a better word, sense of humor. Definitely has a NES type of vibe to it. But I already got my guard up now. It's like, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Wait, what is this? Oh. Cool. I love that they didn't explain that. Yeah, that's what I've been hearing. And my, my kids raved about it, so I figured I'd give it a try. an easy achievement. I love easy achievements. <laughs> um. This music is like adult contemporary or something. <laughs> Figured that one out already. Stay on the path. No. I want to subvert expectations here. I'm sure that's what they expect you to do. What the? Okay. Supposed to talk. Nice. Oops. <laughs> there wasn't a talk option.
I'm a little concerned. Uh, I don't normally do so well with puzzle games. My, my brain just doesn't work in that way, but we'll see. Okay, a little bit of hand-holding there. Oh no, is she gonna go dark now? Looks like Chucky. Something tells me this isn't child's play. What the? I was just inspecting the Llama Chucky. <laughs> yeah, totally. Uh, save. Alright. Wow, level two already. Random encounters. Oops. Whoa. It's a trap. parent
battle sequences are super retro. random encounters. Ooh, that was perfect. Now, what the? Ooh. Ah, dang it. Random counters is not something I missed about RPGs.
<laughs> Maybe this is a test. Like, I'll just keep falling in until I finally use the cell phone or something. I'm gonna hold out for a little bit and then I'll use the cell phone. Fighting so many holes. ghost exactly. I'm just going to say no. Shoot, that's not going to do anything. Uh-oh. Naps to block. Oops. Lost an experience point.
What's up? Whoa! <laughs> ah! Evil Veggie. Yikes. Wild man, it it's very retro. You know, sort of that got that NES look to it. Um, very subversive. I think that's the word I was looking for earlier. Like subverts your expectations. You know. It creates this sort of unease. You know, you don't know who to trust and what's gonna flip on you. A lot of things to keep track of and pay attention to so far. This is making me want to play uh, Earth. I never did play that back in the day. Oh my gosh, Narita Boy was amazing. I really loved that one. Oh gosh. Yeah, Narita Boy's more my speed because, you know, it's like uh, Metroidvania. But my kids kept insisting I play this one, so. It's gotta be a. Highly recommended, man. Get to Narita Boy. It is well well worth the playthrough. I, I loved it because, you know, it kind of reminded me of one of my favorite uh, movies, Tron. Um, I just love the, um, the mix of, you know, sort of the digital world and, you know, sort of real life. And uh, it, it was, I mean, the story just kind of hooked me. It actually had some heart to it. Sort of mucking about in this programmer's memories. It's pretty sweet. Alright, let's see. Mother. Nice. <laughs> I said I didn't like cinnamon. Definitely has a the first Earthbound game vibe. I only played a little bit of that.
fire sauce. Music is very soothing. I'll give it that. Oh yeah, right? The music could be a trap. Thanks for reminding me to be on my guard. <laughs> say I want to go home. This mother might uh, take offense. Times the charm. <laughs> oh man, Stardew Valley has jump scares. I'm gonna see how many times I could really test her patience. So far, it's all unique responses. Maybe I'll break her down. No, I don't want to read a book. I want to explore. <laughs> I'm playing no game, lady. Eh, I think I'll keep doing this. Yes, really. Okay, she's at a loss for words. Is she just gonna keep doing that now? All right, I'm gonna try one more time. What's up, anime variety? Oh boy. All right, there's probably something else I need to do to maybe distract her attention. Let me see if I could leave out the front. from the beginning of what? Oh. I don't think I need to save again. Whoa, cool. Toy knife. Wonder if I have to equip it. Quick. 
equip option. Maybe if I say use. Sweet. Okay. too much on memory and puzzles because I'm... Oh! What's this? That's awesome. So, uh, have you beaten the game? No spoilers, please. I went into this totally blind on the advice of my children. Uh, they really enjoyed it. But apparently, there's like multiple endings and whatnot. So, I'm trying to play it straight. But I'm not even sure what playing it straight even means in this game, to be honest. I've already broken the rule of walking on leaves. A neutral run, okay. Yeah, that's that's de definitely what I meant. Um, just like a straight shooter, you know, like trying not to veer too far one way or the other, like you know, being like a. Well, I guess I I, I wasn't doing that earlier when I was disobeying the the mom figure here. Pray Tell is a pacifist run. Just uh, not fighting anything at all, I imagine. Huh. 
Uh, no.
love the delayed intro there. That's super cool. That's a little creepy. Music's kind of uh, Karnov esque. He's got the dad jokes for days. Backbone. Nice one, Papyrus. Safe here? Hmm. Okay. This is probably a good place to stop. And, uh, it up next week and see where I go from there. Appreciate you stopping by Anime Variety and uh, anybody else that was on the earlier part of the stream. Uh, I'm going to upload to YouTube, so if anybody checks it out non live, that's cool too. Again, I'm Johnny B, aka Retronathan, and I'm part of the Geeks Like Us uh, umbrella. Um, we have a lot of other uh, well, several other streaming shows uh, that you should come check out. We're on social media, uh, Facebook, Twitter, um, gosh, what else? I run the Facebook. Um, 
and uh, Discord. We got a, a active Discord channel, so if you need to invite, just let me know. Reach out to me directly, and I'll be happy to oblige. So thanks again. Um, come check out Retronathan uh, another time, and I will see you at the next stream.